so yeah so this is the problem of the day which is the construct binary tree from string with the bracket representation so what the problem statement is you need to start the construction of the left child node if the parent if it is x okay initially he will be giving us a string like this you need to construct a tree structure like this right so what this is indicating this is your root and this is your left child and this is your right child so you need to construct in that format you need to construct in that format so before getting into the solution i think it will be better if you watch in 1.5x speed so let us understand this by taking the manual test case so initially if the string uh, whatever he has given is like this if the string if the string is like this so so can i say this is our 253 is our root our 253 is our root and it is some left child and this is our left child and this is our right child and this is our right child right so this is root this is left this is right so what we will be doing we will create a solve function which will recursively call and uh, which will recursively call itself and build all its sub parts and which will build all its sub child parts right so uh, one of the observation that you need to make is like if it is a root you just insert the data into into your node and if it is a first opening brace if it is a first opening brace so can i say that is the left child that is the left child if it is a first opening brace uh, you need to know that is a left child you call a solve function you will call the solve function which will solve entire part and it will return you and it will return you so this is your left child you have made a call for this it has it has created the structure and returned you now again you are encountering the second opening brace now you are again and encountering the second opening brace so can i say that is your right child that is your right child so what you will do you will again call the solve function for the sub part and it will return you by solving and it will return you by solving so what is the main intuition uh, this is if you are getting a first opening brace you just create a left child and you call the solve function for that and if if you, uh, a second opening brace is encountered you just create a right child node and you just call the solve function for that so let us understand this now your initially your i equal to 0 your i is standing on this right your i is standing on this you just create an empty node you just create a node of your tree and just a and just call the solve function and just call the solve function so what you will be doing if your uh, if your uh, whatever character that you are standing if it is a data or if it is a digit so can i say you need to extract all this numbers you just need to extract all this numbers you just extract that data and just insert this you just insert this into your node now uh, later we will see how 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 we will be extracting that so you just extracted all the data and you just inserted that data into your node you just inserted the data into your node now your i is standing on this which is an opening brace now what you will be doing if it is an opening brace you just create a left node you just create a left node which is uh, filled with some garbage value initially now you make a call for this now you make a call for this so now your i will be standing on this right if it is an uh, if it is an opening brace you just created a node you just created a node and you just incremented your i you and you just incremented your i and you see again this is a digit Uh, whatever the value that you are standing at the current position that is a digit if it is a digit we'll extract the whole digit part and we will just update that and we will just update that into our node and we'll just update that into our node now again our i is incremented now you again see it is a opening brace now you again see it is an opening brace now can i see you will again create a left node and you again create a left node and you just increment your i 
and call the solve function for this and call the solve function for this now what it will be doing now you are again standing at a digit now you are again standing on the digit if it is a digit you just need to update the data into your node you just need to update the data into your node now your i is incremented again now you see that is it is a closing brace right if it is a closing brace then you just simply return the solve function you just simply return the solve function on that now you are standing at one at the node right now you are just standing on the one at the node now your i is incremented again and you are standing on the opening brace now you are again standing on the opening brace now this is the point that you need to notice this is the point that you need to notice initially you have called someone for the first opening brace you have you have created a left node and you have solved for that right now if you are encountering second opening brace on the same level now you are encountering the second opening brace on the same level so can i say that it is indicating that it is the right child that it is the right node right it is the right child of your current node so since it is my second opening brace on this level i was creating a right node and i am making a call for this and i am making a call for this now our i is incremented again now you see that we are standing on a digit so if we are standing on the digit we will extract the data and update into our node and we will update that into our node now you see that it is a closing brace now whatever you are standing that it is a closing brace right if it is a closing brace you will just simply return from there you will just simply return from there now you again see that you are again standing on the closing brace now you are again standing on the closing brace now what will you do you will just simply return from there you will just simply return from there now again you are standing on the opening brace now you are again standing on the opening brace can i say for the first opening brace you have solved all the sub part for the first opening brace you have called the solve function and you have done everything now you have done everything now it is the second opening brace right now it is the second opening brace that you are encountering on this node right you are encountering the second opening brace on this node because for the first opening brace you have solved this left chain now you are again encountering the second opening brace that means it is indicating that it is the right child it is the right child so what you will do you will just you will just create a right node you will just create a right node and you just increment your i and just call the solve function for that node and just call the solve function for that node so what it will be doing and you you will be checking that it is again data so you will just update the data into that node and you just increment your i and you just increment your i and you can see that it is a last closing brace so you will just return this you will just return this so it will be ending up here so can i say it is so finally the tree is constructed right so finally the tree is constructed so this is the main intuition behind this so let us understand while coding right so what i'll be doing initially i'll take the size which is this and we will create an empty node we will create an empty node which is node pointer root right initially i'm creating a node with some garbage value or uh, like uh, i'm creating a, a node with uh, containing a zero value okay i'll call the solve function for this root and it is passing me as and after this and after this uh, solve function we can return the root right we can return the root so let us and initially i'll take an iterator which is a global variable that is my i equal to 0 so so that i don't need to just pass the function in every time right so i'll call the solve function so what we are passing we are passing the root and we are passing the string as right 
we are passing the string s so what is the condition if your i is less than if your i is in range and if you are standing on the current digit if it is a digit whatever you are standing on the character if it is a digit you need to extract that whole digit right because the digit uh, that number may be a two digit number a three digit number four digit number five digit number we can't know that uh, how many digits it is containing right so what we will be doing we will extract that whole number we will extract that whole number by iterating continuously till till it is a digit right till it is a digit we will extract that uh this is a simple extracting numbers logic you just multiply with 10 and just add that number you just add that number so your i will be incremented so after this loop you have uh, like you have uh, extracted this whole number after this loop you just extracted that whole number and now what we will be doing we will just update that data into our root right into our root so once if uh, so this is the this is the uh, digit condition if it is a digit you just you just extract that whole number and you update that into your root you just update that into your root now if your i is still in range and if your enter i'm countering first opening brace the first opening brace now what you will be doing if it is a first opening brace now you just need to know that it is it is the it is the left child right so what i will be doing i'll create a left node i'll create a new left node which will be initially i'm filling with zero and i just incremented my i and i'll again call the same solve function and i'll again call the same solve function for this root left right you just again call the same solve function for this root and you pass the string as well same goes if it is after solving this sub part if if we encounter a second opening brace so can i say that it will be a right child it will be our right child so we will be creating a right node and we will be initially filling with zero and once once even if the if this left and right subtrees are uh, completed like initial at last we will create uh, we will check whether it is going out of bounds or or if our hash of i is a closing brace if it is this you just simply return you will just simply return from there so i think it should be working fine let us submit this quickly okay oh we are getting a wrong answer ma why 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 initially we will be creating this and if our s of i is this you just create a left node and you just pass your left node right you just pass your left node and you are updating that sum if your i is greater than that or your s of i equal to equal to that so pata nahi yaar kaha 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 ya okay 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 sorry sorry my bad you just need to increment your i whenever you are getting an opening brace right after after getting an opening uh, sorry a closing brace you just need to move further right so what is the condition that i have missed see this if you are standing at the closing brace you just need to return and and you need to increment your i as well and you need to increment your i as well so let's just quickly submit this i think it should be running fine enough you see it's working it's working fine so this is the main institution so what is the main institution if it is a first opening brace you just you just call the solve function 
you just call the solve function for this if it is a uh, first opening brace you just call the solve function for this and if it is a uh, second opening brace you just call you just again call the solve function for this by creating a left a left child and by creating a right child as well you can see here 